we often hear about these kinds of miraculous new battery technologies. And then we think, oh, will that ever be real? Probably not. Now, the incredible thing is, this is probably the most miraculous battery technology I've ever seen in my life. And the company or the researchers that invented it are now working with actual companies, real commercialized companies, to put it into production. This new battery technology that works simply through tears and sodium or saline solution actually is the real deal. Scientists have developed a flexible cornea thin battery that's charged by saline solution. Sounds insane. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Researchers at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore have created a flexible battery that's as thin as a human cornea. This innovative energy storage device charges itself when submerged in a saline solution. And it has the potential to create smart contact lenses in the future. Now, I personally have never heard of a battery that charges itself using uh, salty water, but that's basically what this does. And my key question here is, if we can do this with a tiny little piece of metal that's the size almost of a contact lens, can we do it with a much bigger battery? Is it possible? Smart contact lenses are high-tech contact lenses capable of displaying visible information on our corneas and can be used to access augmented reality. Current uses include helping to correct vision, monitoring wearers' health, and flagging and treating diseases for people with chronic health conditions such as diabetes and glaucoma. In the future, smart contact lenses could be developed to record and transmit everything a wearer sees and hears to cloud-based data storage. So basically, this couldn't be happening now, and we just don't know about this. I know that sounds crazy, but it is possible that people are just walking around wearing these right now already and transmitting data. They see you, maybe they transmit everything to the cloud. I mean, theoretically, Google has their own version of this with the Google Glasses, right? Maybe this is happening. To reach though, however, scientists have said to reach the future potential, a safe and suitable battery needs to be developed to power them. Existing rechargeable batteries rely on wires or induction coils that contain metal and are unsuitable for use in the human eye. So that's the reason why you probably aren't actually having your data logged in the cloud that you don't know about. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm sure it is, but not from someone's eyeballs. Now, of course, the problem with current technology is that putting them in the eye, it's uncomfortable and presents a risk to the user, but that seems to have just potentially changed. The NTU developed battery is made of biocompatible materials and does not contain wires or toxic heavy metals, such as those in lithium ion batteries or wireless charging systems. It has a glucose based coating that reacts with the sodium and chloride ions in the saline solution surrounding it, while the water the battery contains serves as the wire or circuitry for electricity to be generated. This just blew my mind when I found out this information. The battery could be powered by human tears as they contain sodium and potassium ions at a lower concentration. Testing the current battery with a simulated tear solution, the researchers showed that the battery's life would be extended an additional hour for every 12 hour wearing cycle it is used. The battery can also be charged conventionally by an external power supply. Associate Professor Lee Suk Wu from the Electrical and Electronic Engineering Department who led the study said, this research began with a simple question. Could contact lens batteries be recharged with our tears? There were similar examples of self-charging batteries, such as those for wearable technology that are powered by human perspiration. However, previous techniques for lens batteries were not perfect as one side of the battery electrode was charged and the other was not. Our approach, he said, can charge both electrodes of a battery through a unique combination of enzymatic reaction and salt reduction reaction. Besides the charging mechanism, it relies on just glucose and water to generate electricity. 
both of which are safe to humans and will be less harmful to the environment when disposed of compared to conventional batteries. Another researcher that worked on this project said this, the most common battery charging system for smart contact lenses requires metal electrodes in the lens, which are harmful if they're exposed to the naked human eye. Meanwhile, another mode of powering lenses, induction charging, requires a coil to be in the lens to transmit power, much like a wireless charging pad for a smartphone. Our tier-based battery eliminates the two potential concerns that these two methods pose while freeing up space for further innovation in the development of smart contact lenses. What does this all this mean? Well, as this battery is based on glucose oxidase, which occurs naturally in humans and powered by chloride and sodium ions, such as those in our tears, they should be compatible and suitable for human usage. Besides that, the smart contact lenses industry has been looking for a thin biocompatible battery that does not contain heavy metals. This invention could help further their development to meet some unmet needs in the industry. So what are the details? Well, the team demonstrated that invention using a simulated eye and a battery which is about 0.5 millimeters thin generates electrical power by reacting with the basal tears, the constant tears that create a thin film over our eyeballs, for the devices embedded within the lenses to actually function. The flexible and flat battery discharges electricity through a process called reduction, when its glucose oxidase coating reacts with the sodium and chloride ions in the tears, generating power and current within the contact lenses. The team demonstrated that the battery could produce a current of 45 microamperes and a maximum power of 201 microwatts, which would be sufficient to power a smart contact lens. Laboratory tests showed that the battery could be charged and discharged up to 200 times. Typical lithium-ion batteries have a lifespan of 300 to 500 charging cycles for these kinds of applications. The team recommends that the battery should be placed for at least eight hours in a suitable solution that contains a high quantity of glucose, sodium, and potassium ions to be charged while the user is asleep. The study's author said this, although wireless power transmission and supercapacitors supply high amounts of power, their integration presents a significant challenge due to the limited amount of space in the lens. By combining the battery and biofuel cell into a single component, the battery can charge itself without the need for additional space for wired or wireless components. Furthermore, the electrodes placed at the outer side of the contact lens ensure that the vision of the eye cannot be obstructed. So what are they doing now? Well, the team are conducting further research to actually improve it. They want to improve the amount of electrical current that the battery can discharge. They'll also be working with several contact lens companies to implement their technology. So it sounds like this is actually a very real product that will in fact be commercialized, which is quite unusual and also very exciting. What does this mean for the future of this technology? You've got to admit, there's got to have to be battery companies looking at this saying, hang on a minute, this is a really new novel idea. How could we possibly use something like this? Could we? Could this potentially replace lithium one day? I don't know. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.